Hello everybody. Um, in this video I'm going to talk about the two different interpretations of division. One of them is called how many groups and the other one is called how many in each group. Okay, so let's do some problems and I think we'll see as we go along what the difference between the two interpretations are. Okay, number one. A recipe needs two cups of flour. You have eight cups. How many batches can you make? Okay. So I think you guys know that in order to solve that, you would just do 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Right? And what I want you to do is to label every number, because that helps with these problems. So we go 8, 8, 1, 8 cups, 2, 2, 1, 2 cups, 4, 4, 1, 4 batches. So that's the first thing you should do for these problems. Then let's get down to... Is this on how many groups interpretation or is it a how many in each group interpretation? So let's see how many groups. Think of it this way, you guys. 8 divided by 2. If this is an how many groups interpretation, it would be how many cups of, how many twos are in 8? How many 2 cups of flour are in 8 cups of flour? Right? So you're basically saying, how many groups of two are there in eight? This is a how many groups interpretation, which I abbreviate to HMG, okay? So it's how many groups of two are there in eight? And another way you can tell that this is a how many groups interpretation is the units are on the same side of the equal sign. You have cups divided by cups equals batches. The cups are the same on the left of the equal sign it's a how many groups interpretation. Let's do number two. There are 96 inches of rope. How many feet is that? So wouldn't you just do 96 divided by 12? And I think it's equal to eight. Okay. So let's label it. 96 inches, 12 inches, eight feet. These two guys are the same. You have the same units on the left side of the equal sign in the division problem. That's a that's a HMG also. How many groups? So you're trying to figure out how many groups of 12 are in 96, right? That's what you're doing, right? Okay. How about number three? 32 yards of rope cut into eight equal pieces. What is the length of each piece? So I think you guys know you would just do 32 divided by eight. Right? That's equal to 4 to solve that problem. But let's label everything. 32 is yards. 8 isn't yards. 8 is pieces. 4 is yards. So in this case, you've got the same units on the opposite sides of the, of the division problem. So let's think about this. Is this how many groups or is it how many in each group? Well, you have 32 yards of rope and you want to divide that into eight equal groups or eight equal pieces. So you want to figure out how many yards fit into each piece, right? So you're trying to figure out how many go into each piece. You're trying to figure out how many are in each group. Think of each piece as a group, right? So this is a how many in each group, which I abbreviate each make. Because you don't want to write that every time. Okay. All right, so that's the difference. It's this time your units are on the other side, and you're figuring out how many yards go into each piece, how many yards go into each group. Okay? And one of the ways you can tell, too, that it's H and E, G, is you see that word equal? They're saying, well, the same, you know, has to be the same amount in each group. So those words kind of key off a little bit. How about number four? You drive 220 miles at a constant speed. See the word constant, guys? Takes you four hours. How fast are you going? So wouldn't you just do the 220 divided by 4 equals... What's 220 divided by 4? It's 55, okay? Let's label 220 what? Miles. 4 what? Hours. 55 what? Miles per hour, right? So our miles are on the opposite sides of the equal sign. We're talking about constant speed. We're trying to figure out how many miles get stuffed into each hour, how many miles are going each hour. That's what we're figuring out here. So this is a 
H M E G interpretation. Okay, now these line ones I get a little confused. Let's make sure we do these right. Okay, um, number five. We have six limes cost three bucks. What is the cost of one? So once you just do six divided by three equals two. Is that right? Six limes cost three bucks. I did it wrong. I'm did doing it wrong. See, you guys? I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing the division. That's not how you would find the cost, right? See, I make mistakes all the time. Hope you know that. How would we figure that out? We would do the three bucks divided by six to figure out how much each line costs, right? So three divided by six, that's, that's 0 0.50. So it, it's 50 cents a line. Does that make sense, you guys? 50 cents a line if there's six of them. 50 cents times six gives you three bucks. Yeah, okay, see, that's how I screw this up. So let's see, what is the three bucks? That's dollars, three is dollars. What is the six? Six is limes. What is the 0.50? That's dollars. So the dollars are on the opposite sides of the equal sign. That's H-N-E-G. Does it make sense? What are we trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out how much money is in each line. How much line, How much money does it cost for each line? So we're trying to figure out how much is in each group, right? We're trying to figure out how much is in each group if we have six groups and we're dividing three bucks, right? So I think that's great, okay? So that's an H M E G. Let's look at the last one. I think I was getting these two confused. Six limes cost three bucks, same thing. How many can you buy with a buck? How many can you buy with a buck? How do we do that, you guys? Well, let's see. What do we have? We have six limes cost three bucks. How many can you buy? Once you do six divided by three equals two. So what are what does the six represent? The six represents limes. The three represents dollars and the two represents lines so the lines match up on the other side of the equal sign so that's hmeg now does this make sense how do we interpret this we're trying to figure out you have six lines you have three that cost three dollars you're trying to figure out how many limes goes into each dollar, right? Each, think of each dollar as a group. How many limes get stuffed into each dollar? Two limes get stuffed into each dollar. So this is a how many in each group interpretation of division. So sorry for I got a little confused there, but I think we got it at the end. Okay, um, so this should help you with this activity question. There's one other part at the end of the activity, so let me erase really quick here, guys, um, that gives you a drawing, okay? And they give you a drawing, and they ask you to, to uh, label up each drawing. They give you two drawings, and they ask you to label one HMG and one HMEG. So let's see if we can figure it out, okay? So my division problem that I'm going to represent with the drawings is 8 divided by 2, okay? So I'm just going to draw eight dots, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one of the drawings, I'm going to circle them like this. And in the other drawing, I'm going to have eight dots again, but I'm going to circle them like this. Okay, now they want us to interpret one of these as HMG, how many groups, and one of them as HMEG. So let's do HMG first, okay? Um, HMG, let's see, how many, oops, <laughs> there, that's better, how many groups, if we, if we interpret this as HMG, how many groups of two are in eight? How many groups of two are in eight? Isn't that this one, guys? Right, how many groups of two are in eight? That's HMG. Now, obviously, this one has to be HMEG because one's one, one's the other, but is it, is it right? 8 divided by 2. How many are in each group when you divide the 8 into two groups? Right? So see, that's all you got to do 
for that one is look at the drawing and label one HMG and one HMEG. And sorry for the confusion, and I hope that helps, and I'll keep helping you all semester as much as I can. Okay, see ya.